Okay, so I think it's worth saying a little bit more about the safety issues and what they were, because uh, when we first had the drug, uh, we weren't sure about the dose and uh, the question of uh, um, route of administration. And in the very early days, the, the drug was supertriptan, as it was called, chemically, and later on it got the, uh, the trade name Imigran and Imitrex in America. But um, the safety issues were such that uh, um, in the very early studies, um, a lady had um, a cardiac event which, uh, when she was given the drug intravenously, and I remember uh, debating this with the, with the clinical people and uh, Sir David Jack, and uh, obviously uh, this was disturbing, but we realised that by giving the drug intravenously that a bolus dose was being injected and the concentration, the local concentration of the receptor uh, and at other sites would have been much higher than you would anticipate if the drug was given by a more normal uh, means. But uh, we didn't want to just say, well, theoretically, it'll be better if we give it by a lower dose or a different route. We actually started studying every patient, measuring ECGs, and uh, I actually uh, came up with a proposal that we should get some hum human coronary arteries. And at that time, it was very difficult to get human coronary arteries in England. So we decided that we would uh, liaise with an American uh, clinician who could actually get uh, human coronary arteries very fresh and that we could do the study on. And uh, I had um, um, another young postdoc uh, working with us, Helen Connor, who just joined the team. And I said, oh, by the way, Helen, you don't mind going to America, do you? And she did. She was very worried about going to America, um, but she was very brave and we gave her all the support we could. And she went out and did some studies on human coronary arteries. And we found that, um, that there were small uh, constrictions to uh, sumatriptan, but they were very small compared to 5-HT. So in other words, 5-HT constricts uh, human coronary arteries uh, massively through the common 5-HT2 receptor, but our new receptor the 5-HT1B had uh, only a minimal effect and later on studies were actually done in, in, in humans who volunteered to have uh, sumatriptan um, injected into them and then they, uh, uh, the clinician actually measured the coronary artery um, diameter and again the diameter uh, was reduced by up to 14% in some individuals but that's the sort of level that you would get um, far in excess of that, even if you were exercising uh, very heavily. So I think there is an issue, and it's always been a, a contraindication uh, not to give this drug to people who are cardiovascularly uh, compromised, but um, now I think the drug, I mean, I've spent 10 years of my life trying to show that the drug was safe, um, and it, I, probably that's when I started smiling when I felt it was safe, and now it's actually available over the counter in Britain, so I think that says something about the safety issues.